Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, it's beautiful here on the Sun Coast. It's also beautiful across the entire state today. Big ridge of high pressure, dry air in places. Really not much that could trigger any kind of bad weather across the state of Florida today. A little bit to our north, that's not necessarily the case, but everything is just so stable around here right now. 74, Wachula, 76, Arcadia, 74, Mayaka. Looking at Bradenton, they're coming in at 72, a little cooler in Sarasota, but still comfortable at 71, 74, Venice, and in Northport. And across the region, we have dry air in place. Our dew point now at 53 is still comfortable, but a little teeny bit higher than it was yesterday. As we talked about yesterday, uh, we could expect to see a slow, gradual increase in our dew points, and I think that's going to be true tomorrow as well. We'll start to see the dew point values increase a little bit, kind of inch their way up as some moisture rides down on a general northeasterly wind flow, light enough that in the afternoons we develop a little bit of a sea breeze, now south-southwest at about 10. And then those winds switching back to the northeast tomorrow will continue to feed in a little drier air, and then we'll get to sea breeze in the afternoon. That'll bring up some more moisture, and so consequently we are kind of locked into this pattern of slowly increasing afternoon humidity, but still comfortable today and tomorrow. Uh, we're looking at the wall-to-wall -wall sunshine out there. Not much of a problem. Generally easterly wind flow again later today after the sea breeze dies down. Right now, as I mentioned, we're catching that sea breeze. The good news is wet red tide report by Moat Marine again today shows that uh, the lack of toxins in the air from any kind of red tide blooms. And there's still a little red tide in our water from place to place, but still we're looking uh, pretty good in terms of respiratory distress caused by those irritants in the air. Big ridge of high pressure sits over right now, sits over the state of Florida, Gulf waters near Atlantic, all look pretty quiet and calm. You're looking across the country, you can definitely see that there's a little something going on here. And we also have some clusters of clouds back to the west and a pretty big spin in the upper atmosphere just off the California coast. And that's all associated with some systems we'll talk about in a second. Titan radar here shows everything pretty quiet. Not the case everywhere. We do have a system diving out of uh, Iowa, producing some snow showers there, and then some rain showers further south, all headed actually toward Atlanta area a little bit later on today, though everything's very quiet there right now. This system will be tracking in that direction, and I think later tonight, we have a chance of seeing some pretty strong storms develop there. Sphere Storm Prediction Center puts this area in a bullseye for an enhanced chance of seeing some showers, thunderstorms, gusty winds, damaging winds. Tornadoes really not in the picture for the Atlanta area, but certainly some gusty, strong, damaging winds, straight line winds could be. We're not going to have anything around here. Dry air in place kind of limits the potential for any sort of weather to develop for us. We remain with our beautiful blue skies out there today. Uh, tomorrow, as I mentioned, there's a, a, a little bit of an erosion in that dry air to the north of us. And with that northeasterly wind or easterly wind continuing generally without the sea breeze having formed, we'll start to see a little bit more moisture work its way into the forecast. Low pressure area goes to the east as it does so. That frontal boundary begins to bring us a chance of rain on Thursday. As it brings severe weather to the deep south, it will not bring us any such thing. We'll be lucky to get decent rain around here, and we probably won't. Most of us will see nothing at all. Daytime highs through the period remain nice, and the sunshine returns very quickly on Thursday evening into Friday. Scott?